Question from Archer Q Bank. The nurse is caring for a client experiencing an adrenal crisis, a dissonant crisis. The nurse should be prepared to administer which intravenous fluid? A. Lactated ringers, LR. B. 0.9% saline. C. Dextrose 5% in water, D5W. D. Dextrose 5% in water and lactated ringers, D5LR. Answer letter B. Explanation. Choice B is correct. A client experiencing an adrenal crisis, a dissonant crisis, tends to have significant hypovolemia and hyponatremia. Because of the deficiency of steroid hormones, distributive shock may follow. Restoring the circulatory volume is essential in the management of this crisis. Isotonic solutions such as 0.9% saline or D5NS, dextrose 5% in water combined with 0.9% saline must be used. Isotonic saline can address both hypovolemia and hyponatremia in the adrenal crisis. If there is concomitant hypoglycemia, the D5NS solution is preferred to increase the glucose, sodium, and circulatory volume. Choices A, C, and D are incorrect. Although lactated ringers is an isotonic solution, it is inappropriate in managing an adrenal crisis because the client is experiencing concomitant hyponatremia. LR will not correct the hyponatremia. Choice A. D5W is hypotonic and would be detrimental given by itself because it would increase the free water and lower the sodium further by dilution. Choice C. D5LR has a limited benefit in an adrenal crisis because of its inability to raise sodium levels. Choice D. Additional info. Addison's disease is an autoimmune condition in which the client has insufficient cortisol and aldosterone. The mainstay treatment is lifelong corticosteroid replacement with hydrocortisone. The dosage of replacement hormones may need to be increased if the client experiences increased demands from stressful events or illnesses. Failure to increase the replacement doses to meet the demand will result in adrenal crisis and shock. During an adrenal crisis, the priority treatment is administering hydrocortisone intravenously. The client is often volume depleted hypoglycemic, and hyponatremic and will need rapid fluid resuscitation. Dangerously high potassium levels, hyperkalemia, are also evident in an adrenal crisis and require cardiac monitoring and potassium-reducing medications, such as sodium polystyrene. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for daily NCLEX question.